Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see how to make an automated title block. Uh, many people are used to to use a manual title block. It means they create a title block, they they insert all the information uh, manually. Uh, I mean the project name, for instance, the drawing name case, date, all the information that are found in the title block, they, are, they insert them manually, which is uh, time consuming. And now we are going to see how can we make the, uh, how can we make the title block automatically. So let's jump in and see how it is done. As you see, uh, I have opened the NotoCAD file. I'm in the model, so let's go into layout where we, we, we normally print our drawings. So I will start by creating a, a layout. Come here into the layout, layout tab, and I'm going to uh, set up pages. So let's say I'm going to use uh, to create a new one. Set up, let's say, uh, give it a name. Let's keep it setup one. It's okay. Click OK. Going to choose the, the name, the, 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 the printer, the plotter. Uh, let's use the print to PDF. Then take, choose the paper size. Let's say we are going to use the MA3 for instance and make it landscape. You are uh, familiar with creating base setup, so I'm not going to take uh, so much explaining all these these features. Uh, then let's say okay, set to current, then close. It means this will be our our paper. Uh, it's an A3. So let's suppose you have you have. Uh, already created the drawings and you want to put it on the layout and you are going to uh, to make a title block so let's say a title block up will be somewhere here I'm just uh, trying to create the, the, the title block Attack line. Make sure you you turn on the auto auto mode so that your line uh, be horizontally or vertically, not oblique. Yeah, that's okay. Then let's make a copy. Uh, let's put it somewhere here. Make a copy of the two. Into, for instance, I'm just trying to make a, a random, random uh, title block. You know, there is many, many information found in the title block that that will depend on your on your project and uh, on your format. Okay. After drawing the title block, you have to insert text. Let me use the single line text. Say, uh, let's say project name. Okay. I'm going to copy this. Yeah. Yeah. 
the change uh, here to be the for instance the let's say drawing drawing name instead of change this to be the scale copy let's say to be here the date for instance so you may also enter other 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 relevant information so after we are going to add what we collect attributes you know the attribute are also text that will be that will help us to, to automate our title block so to insert an attribute going to the type here in, in type command att Mm -hmm. for attribute definition and attribute definition dialog box will open so let me show you we are going to fill in the the tag for instance this one project name let's say the first tag will be project project name and make sure there is no space between the project and the name. If you you put in the the space between names, it will not be saved. So make sure you clear the space between uh, the two names. Then fill in the, the the prompt. The prompt is the text that will appear here in the type command when you insert this attribute. So let's say. Uh, put in uh, what is the project name uh, then the default the default is the text that will that will appear when you insert the attribute by default so you can let's say uh, x y z for instance so you come here and set the text settings I want to be you want to it to be aligned feet center let's keep it in the middle center and then the text style let's keep it standard the size that's okay then you come and place your attributes see let's move it a little bit somehow here and then copy it here and double click it to edit huh? as we see here this was the first one was the project name then the second one is the drawing name not the project name so i have to to edit then double click it the tag with, instead of being project name will be uh, drawing name uh, the drawing then the plump will be what is the drawing name not the project name but, uh, drawing name okay then the default let's keep it like this you see and I'll also copy this attribute you can copy it or create the new one it's it's it's, it's the same come on yeah and uh, also here double click to edit this will be the scale scale let's put it in capital letter scale question will be the prompt will be what is the scale Scale. scale format let's put the scale format one this one and okay edit this one also to be the date okay what is the let's say the what is the the date then let's put 
that format does it all this then okay and and we have done we have uh, created the the borders of our title block okay let's add the border around the page I'm going to use uh, a rectangle yeah let's say almost here okay that's very good then after creating the the, the title block the border you have uh, inserted the the all the information with attribute and text we are going to make it a block make it a block so that it will we will insert it in the in the next project and it will automatically will be automated okay so select all in the type command write block yeah it's here block then the block definition will will, will appear okay then you, you we are going to enter the name let's say a title block the block we are going to specify the base point here pick the point to set the, 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 the base point let's say this one a object you have already selected the object then okay okay then as you see uh, the after clicking ok the project name huh, you see the attribute have changed huh? the one we, we have filled xyz the format we gave to the scale and the date this is by default huh? and that that's all the next time if you if you want to insert the title block it will it will you will not have to draw all this it will automatically be placed okay so let's try it select all and delete and we are going to let's suppose this is a new project and you want to add the the title block that you have created so you will come here to home and to block insert block and here it is the one we created the title block if i click on it you see and i'm coming on my page and place it somewhere here and when you place it it almost it automatically open the edit attribute so you can fill huh, all the information huh? you see what is the date for instance i'm going to to say we are on let's say August 2023 the scale let's say if you you fill in what is the drawing the drawing name let's say a view plan it's a view plan project name let's say it's a residential residential building okay then click ok and automatically the the the, the title block will, will be updated you see hmm? project name drawing name the scale the date all have been automatically updated so if there is uh, for instance let's say this was a commercial building, not a, a residential building. If you have, a, you want to, to edit it, just double click it, and it will open the attribute editor. Or just click on it once, right click, and edit attribute. Hmm? You see, and choose the one, this one, and you want to make it a commercial, not. But um, this then should apply, okay? Then it is updated. 
Okay, let me show you an example of uh, the two block that I have made. Okay. Uh, let's first of all delete this one. Okay. Come to home. Insert. Because the 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 data block was not done in this project, it can't be appear at the top. So I have to search for it. Going to recent blocks. I'm going to add this one so I'm going to click on it and as you can see it's not on the scale that's not a, an issue we scale it later just click somewhere this it is this one okay so let's scale it let's say point one this way the scale Okay, it's still too big, so we'll scale it later. It's okay. Just click, and the edit attribute will open. These are the information that I have created. So what I have to do is just to fill in the to replace and fill it. Let's say the client, the engineer calculated by. Yeah? If you have to change the date. The, the, the project name, the scale, and so on. Then click after, click OK. And if you can zoom in here in the, if you can zoom, huh, you see all the information. It have been placed there, the, the revision, the note that I have created. Huh? You see it's all there. So I have to scale it, click it, scale, okay, specify the base point, okay, it is too small, let's first of all move it, take this point, turn off the auto mode, okay. It's somewhere here, so scale it again. Take yeah. the base point and boom, and here you go. You have your title block, hmm? you have your, your sheet that, that is, uh, let me close this, your sheet is well prepared, and you can now uh, insert a drawing and, and print it. For instance, if I have something that you have drawn, let's say a given uh, drawing. Okay. So if you come to your layout, Tangra huh? to insert a viewport, let's say uh, this will be our viewport. And here you have your drawings, huh? and then you can print it.